up, um, today, um, is an Uncharted update, but with different things. So, um, as you already know, I have two turtles, Lucky and Uncle, and this is going to be another update of my turtles, but I actually got new stuff, so, yeah. So, first off, we start the food, um, this is, this is what I feed my little turtle, I guess, now, because I just found out that this is a growth formula, formula, it says growth formula right there, but it is for turtles, so this is what they look like, you can't see me. and yeah, so that's that. She eats them every once in a while, but she loves these. This is um, reptile sticks, also a great food for amphibians, water with calcium. I also feed her both my turtles this. And this is what they look like. Yeah. I have one container of this. It's almost one of it. I have two containers of these because I feed both my turtles these. So, then I have this algae control, um, it's actually really good, it like makes the water foggy for like a little bit, and then it turns clear, and this is what it looks like, yeah, so, now let's get turtles, well, other stuff, so, Right here, this lamp is a UVB mix with heat lamp. And also, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have like a thermometer right here. I'm not sure I'm going to take this off. I have this right here for a really good. like this, but I'm just showing you the classroom. I think it's, no, it's a scoop. Yeah, it's a scoop. I'm just showing you her scoop. She also tried to snap at me, and this is her classroom. I think, I just maybe got her mixed up. She can totally feel, um, if I press on it, she can feel pressure. And if you guys did not know this, but I read this in a book, I think it's true, I don't know what to believe, but these kind of turtles, they swim more than a couple, no, like a hundred, or maybe even thirteen feet. Their shell would crack, like literally crack, and they would die because it would be too cold. But for soft shell turtles, like water soft shells, any kind of soft shell turtle, they can go more than 3,284 3, feet underwater without their shell cracking. And it's just really amazing. And she doesn't like her head being touched on the <laughs> So, this, like I said, is Lucky. She is a female for. This is just part of her, you know, her private area. But this is the tail. It comes right here. She's female. And also, you can tell because of her claws. She's just 
they're really, really beautiful too. Really beautiful. Go ahead and put it down. She is trying to run away from me. She will if she can get like across the iron, and she just did. She is getting used to me. Like I said, she is a wild caught turtle, so she is pretty much just wanting to run free. But I will be getting her a bigger tank. I'm working towards it. But right now I have her in. 30, 40 gallon tank. She's a little small. I'm sorry, but um, yeah, that's her. Just gonna get some pictures. She's trying to go everywhere. I'm gonna fall, and I caught her. So this is her. Say goodbye to the camera, Lucky. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put her back when she was basking. And then I'm gonna grab a little turtle. Which she was trying to get basking in. And I got three turtle balls. This is my little turtle. Much more smaller than my big turtle. She is, I think, the female. <laughs> she is a beautiful, beautiful turtle. I would say she, I think I think she's a female. I don't know. She is a red eared slider. Her belly is fading away. Which I love her plot. Her scoot, whatever it wasn't fading away. She was a perfect little baby turtle. And then she had to get bigger and she had to lose her color. Um she's starting to get a darker shade around in here. You can see around in here. And the other parts are like green or something. But she is a red eared slider, so she had to come out. Yeah, that's her. Her name is Aqua. I love her so much. I don't know what brand my grandpa got the, um, I don't know what the brand of the filter is. Did you want to know me? What's the brand of the filter? Ten Gwen. Ten Gwen. Ten Gwen 200. Ten Gwen 200. Ooh, wow. Pretty much it. Now I'm going to show you my other pets. I had more, but I'm not at my house. So, yeah. I'm going to put her back. Whoa, jeez, turtle. Oh. She's like, she always goes through all night. Okay. I'm going to move my chair and take this off my... Um, sorry, finger in the face. In the, I don't know if you guys can see, but this is my setup. The tank from down below. And, yeah. Here's a close up on the UVB light. It's really, really hot. So, next. Pet is Oreo. What is she doing? She's a long haired cat. I found out. I don't know. Her name's Oreo. But she has like white patches. She has white on her feet. I don't know if you guys can see, but she's a really cute turtle. turtle. She's a really cute cat. She's like, <laughs> can't get her face. She 
looks like. And next pet is a dog. Which she is somewhere. There she is. She is sitting right on the footy bag. She is a beautiful dog. She's really nice. She wants her belly rubbed. We do have a problem with fleas, but we're getting rid of them. Ow! I'm actually scratching her belly right now. The paw in the face. Yeah, and that's all the pets I have currently here at my grandpa's. So if you guys want to have any questions about the pets, just comment down below, and I'll see you later. Bye!